Hello everyone, welcome to Circle Time. It's the third week of February. It's very close to Valentine's Day. Let's get started. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, Sochi. Good morning, Xavier. Good morning, Xander. Circle time is here. Good morning, Jimena. Good morning, Zena. Good morning, Xavion. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Circle time is here. Circle time is here. Yay! Good morning, everyone. Welcome to circle time. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. It's a little bit scratchy, but we are going to look at this ABC feeling for today. I want it to be. Okay, there we go. X is for feeling exhausted. I feel exhausted when I'm so tired. I just want to go to sleep. Well, look at the word exhausted. It actually starts with the letter E, but there aren't a lot of words with the letter X. But we hear the sound exhausted. We can hear the X in there. Okay, so when you are exhausted, what does that mean? Maybe it's time for a nap. Maybe it's time to go to bed early. I know when I feel exhausted, sometimes I cry. When I feel exhausted, sometimes I just feel almost hopeless. When I'm exhausted, I think that it's just a good thing to go and lay down and take a nap or go to bed early before we say or do something that we might regret. Because when we say and do things that we regret later, there it's very hard to undo. What I mean is, is that when we are in an exhausted state, Sometimes we might say and do things that um, we will regret later and some things we can't take back. So a good thing to do when you are feeling exhausted or overwhelmed or frustrated, this is for the adults and the little ones, you can do the butterfly hug. You can say, even though I feel exhausted, I still have love and respect for myself. Even though today has been a hard day, I still have love and respect for myself. Even though I feel like crying, I still have love and respect for myself. Try it sometime. The butterfly hug really works and it helps to regulate our feelings and to stay in a calmer state, in a more regulated state. Okay, are we, oh, one more thing. So our colors for the month of February are pink and blue. And I have, well, they're called red potatoes, but they look pink to me. This is a red potato. Red potatoes really surprised me when I looked up the nutritional value. So red potato has about, this is if you bake them, it has 154 calories. It has a lot of potassium. Isn't that something? The word potato begins with P-O-T, and potassium also begins with P-O-T, actually P-O-T-A. 
So potassium and potato and potassium, very high in potassium. Potassium's really good for some people and for others, I know for people who are have diabetes, they need a, um, less potassium in their diets. Um, I know that because of my dad, my dad has diabetes. Okay, so there's also vitamin C, vitamin B6, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, copper, niacin, and folate. It has a lot of nutrients in it. And the, my, I, how I like to pr um, prepare red potatoes or these pink potatoes is to cube them, to soak them in uh, water for over an hour, to rinse them really well, that's a way to release some of the potassium out of the potatoes too, so it wouldn't be as high. So if you want a higher uh, potassium content, you could bake it, but if you want to take out some of the potassium, you can um, soak them. And then um, I dry them and I toss them in avocado oil, salt and pepper, some garlic, and then you can bake them in the oven and um, till they're like crispy for breakfast potatoes, they are very yummy. So that's an idea to make for your family. Okay, now let's start with our ABCs. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh boy. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! And our number song in Mandarin. Here we go. Oh, let me put these cards away. Okay. Eagle. Liangge, Sangge, Xiao Pen Yo, Zige, Uge, Liu Ge, Xiao Pen Yo, Qi Ge, Ba Ge, Jiu Ge. Xiao Pen Yo, Di Shi Ge, Xiao Pen Yo, Zhan Qi Lai, Zhan Qi Lai. Yay! And our number song in Spanish. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres circulitos. Cuatro, cinco, 
seis cuadritos. Siete. Ocho. Nueve rectangulitos. Diez pentagonitos. Diez pentagonitos. Yay! And our number song in English. Here we go. One little, two little, <clears throat> three little circles, four little, five little, six little squares, seven little, eight little, nine little rectangles, 10 little pentagons, 10 little pentagons, yay. And I'm going to read you a book. Here we go. The name of this book is, oh, it's hard to see. See a heart, share a heart. So I am always looking for hearts wherever I go all year round. So I'm going to read this book to you. And then I'm going to show you pictures of hearts that I've been collecting over the years. Okay, here we go. See a heart, share a heart, catch a heart, keep a heart, hold a heart, free a heart. Find a heart. Fill a heart. Move a heart. Make a heart. Hide a heart. Lose a heart. Twist a heart. Break a heart. Miss a heart. Mend a heart. Warm a heart. Tend a heart. See a heart. Share a heart. Touch a heart. Oh, look at this little tiny one. Isn't that cute? How can we tell this is tiny? It's up against someone's hand. Can you see that? Change a heart. And that's the end. Change a heart. This is by Eric Telchin, and he's taken these photos. And that's the end, and it says, give the gift of hearts. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my heart, photo heart collection. 
and I keep adding to this collection. I found more hearts this week that didn't make it yet into my poster pack, but maybe they will someday. So this is a tree that I found in Los Angeles somewhere, and there's a heart shape part of the tree and someone painted it red like a heart and I drove by it and then I went around the block to take a picture of it this is a heart it looked you can't um it wasn't made on purpose but you see how the heart shape right there it's kind of a crumbly um concrete <clears throat> this heart shape is on a palm and it was um the sun made this shape on this plant. And this was my friend's lunch one day and someone cut the bread and then placed it this way to make a heart shape. I found this hot, wet heart in my concrete in my back, the back of my home this is a heart shape rash on my friend's arm. A heart shape leaf. A heart shape stump, tree stump. I found a heart shape button in the playground at school one day. A heart shaped chicken breast, fried chicken breast. A heart shaped leaf. I found this leaf in Nebraska at the zoo. I found a green one and a yellow one. A heart shaped cactus with prick prickly prick pricks on it and a heart shaped cactus with the prick prickles or what are those called needles or pr uh, the prickly parts taken off this was a heart shape in some mud and another crumbly heart shape in the concrete I found a heart-shaped rock and a heart-shaped piece of concrete and a little heart placed inside this concrete and another heart-shaped button. Ooh, these are fancy things. Look at this heart shaped ring, a heart shaped diamond that I found, picture I found in the magazine, and a fancy heart shaped table at a furniture store, and a beautiful heart shaped rock in the dirt. And this picture is the funniest one of all. Do you want to? Do you want to know what is super funny? One morning, well, one night I went to bed and I think my hair was wet when I went to bed, which I don't usually do. And I woke up in the morning and guess what was on top of my head? A heart shape on top of my head. And I thought, whoa, my goodness. See, I have a lot of gray hair underneath my hair, my, in my bangs. So I woke up with a heart on my head. Have you ever woken up with a heart on your head? That was the funniest one of all. I hope you laughed at my heart shaped head. Okay, so now I think these other books I will read at the end of our circle time. So for now, we're going to do a really quick um, version of our song cards. Here we go with our horsey song. Here we go. Sit down. 
See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses coming home, all tired out. Whee! See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses galloping, galloping down the country road. See the horses coming home, all tired out. Now, our kitty song. Should I get a real kitty for this song? I'll go get a real kitty. My kitties were fighting a moment ago. They were tapping each other on the heads and they were playing a little bit rough. Come on, kitties. Who wants to sing the kitty song with our friend? Okay, friends, we're nice and gentle with our moms, our dads, grandmas, grandpas, brothers, sisters, and all of our friends, and all of our belongings and the belongings of others. We're gentle with animals. We're gentle with plants. Warm kitty, soft kitty, little ball of fur. Sleepy kitty, happy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Warm kitty, soft kitty, little ball of fur. Sleepy kitty, happy kitty, purr, purr, purr. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Eliza. <clears throat> Thank you. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> we show our love to our family and friends with three little phrases everyone recommends. I love you, please, and thank you. Three magical phrases, the sweetest we use. Te amo, por favor, y gracias. Yay! Those are powerful words. Did you know that words are powerful? And loving, kind, gentle words are even more powerful. So use them, okay? <clears throat> All right, and now we have the mother hen and the baby chick at chicks, and that means it's time for Ruru and Lulu to join us. Ruru and Lulu enjoy fruits, vegetables, or bird seed. So you can feed them one of those. And bird seed, all you have to do is show your hand like this. So let's find them. Oh, Ruru. Oh, Lulu, where are you? The children are waiting. Come out, come out wherever you are. Lulu and Ruru. Oops. <clears throat> Good morning, Lulu. Good morning, Ruru. Thank you for joining us. Okay, are you ready to, Lulu, are you ready to make your special hen noises for the children here we go click 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 gara 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 clack 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 boop 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 go 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 wow thank you lulu and now it's ruru's turn and as usual ruru has a lot to say are you ready to Repeat after Ruru. Here we go. Are you ready? Cock a doodle doo. Kee kitty kee. Ah ah ah. Cock a doodle. Cock a doodle. 
Cucurigu, Cocorico, Eggy, Egg, Egg. Los pollitos dicen, los pollitos dicen, Pío, 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 Pío. Cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, cuando tienen frío. Los pollitos dicen, los pollitos dicen, pío, 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 pío. Cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío, cuando tienen frío. Yay! Are we ready to feed Lulu and Ruru? Are you ready? Here we go! Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for feeding Lulu and Ruru. And we'll see you guys next time at our next circle time. Bye bye, everyone. Very nice. Oh, my goodness. So now, oh, let me put these cards away. Whoa. So now we're going to read a couple of books. Well, one book will read, the other book will sing. The Day It Rained Hearts by Felicia, Felicia Bond. Felicia Bond. One day it started raining hearts. And Cornelia Augusta caught one. She caught another. And another. It wasn't very hard, so she caught some more. It must be getting close to Valentine's Day, she thought. And she set to work making Valentine's. The heart she caught would make perfect cards. Oops. Cornelia Augusta saw that all of her hearts were different. She looked at each one from the front and the back and the side and decided which ones would be just right for each of her friends. She found seven that were more or less alike and strung them together with a needle and thread. I know just the right person for this one, she thought. Then Cornelia Augusta took an especially handsome heart and pasted it on a piece of paper. In the center of the heart, she glued a cotton ball, one that was very white and soft, and she knew instantly who this card would be for. Cornelia Augusta had eight hearts left on the largest one, she drew circles and then carefully cut them out. The other hearts were so small, she arranged all of them on one piece of paper. Around the heart, she painted patterns of many colors. Then she folded her design in half. There was no doubt in her mind who would receive these? Cornelia Augusta put a stamp on each of her valentines and mailed them. It never rained hearts again. Not where Cornelia Augusta lived 
anyway. But it didn't matter. Because the next year, and the next, and all the years after that, Cornelia Augusta found other ways to make Valentines. And that's the end of The Day It Rained Hearts by Felicia Bond. Oh, listen to this. One day it rains hearts and Cornelia Augusta catches them. Each heart is special in its own way and Cornelia Augusta knows exactly what, who to send them to. Felicia Bond has seen it rain hearts two times. She lives in Austin, Texas and in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Wow. Have you ever seen it raining hearts? I wonder what kind of hearts that it rained um, for Felicia Bond. Did it rain um, heart-shaped leaves maybe? Or a heart-shaped plant? Hmm. So now I have our silly book. There was an old lady who swallowed a rose. And this, of course, is by Lucille Calandro and illustrated, illustrated by Jared Lee. And I think I have almost every version of this book, although I saw one at the school, my grandson's school the other day that I don't have. And I can't remember which one it is. Oh, boy. Here we go. There was an old lady who swallowed a rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose. But that's how it goes. <clears throat> there was an old lady who swallowed some lace. She didn't race to swallow that lace. She swallowed the lace to tie the rose, but I don't know why she swallowed the rose. That's how it goes. There was an old lady who swallowed some glitter. She wasn't a quitter to swallow that glitter. She swallowed the glitter to trim the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie on the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes. There was an old lady who swallowed some candy. It was fine and dandy to swallow that candy. Would you swallow some candy? I would. Finally, she's swallowing something that I would swallow. Okay. She swallowed the candy to garnish the glitter. She swallowed the glitter to trim the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes. There was an old lady who swallowed a jewel. She wasn't a fool to swallow that jewel. Oh, look at the doggy. Her dog has so much fun hanging out with this silly lady. She swallowed the jewel to brighten the candy. She swallowed the candy to garnish the glitter. She swallowed the glitter to trim the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes. There was an old lady who swallowed some hearts. She showed her smarts by swallowing those hearts. There's the doggy. She swallowed the hearts to surround the jewel. She swallowed the jewel to brighten the candy. She swallowed the candy to garnish the glitter. She swallowed the glitter to trim the lace. She swallowed the lace to tie on the rose. I don't know why she swallowed the rose, but that's how it goes.
There was an old lady who swallowed a card. It wasn't hard to swallow that card. It brought the old lady so much happiness that she smiled and laughed. And blew a big kiss. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a lovely Valentine's Day. I hope that you're loving and gentle with your mom and dad and siblings and friends. And remember the butterfly hug. Even though I'm exhausted, I still have love and respect for myself. Even though I'm frustrated, I still have love and respect for myself. Friends, thank you for joining me for Circle Time, and we'll see you ag all again real soon. Bye-bye. Have a great week. See you next time.